Today we're going to show you how to spray General Finishes milk paint. We like a couple of guns for spray applications. The one we use in the shop is the 3M model HG18. It comes with a large diameter fluid tip for paints and a disposable air cap that allows you to use it several times before replacing. But for our demo today, we're going to use a self-contained unit. It's the Erlex model 5500 HBLP system. It comes with a large fluid tip designed for spraying paints. Any sprayer will work, but contact your local supplier to verify the proper tip sizes. Every gun is different. After stirring the milk paints, it's ready to spray from the can. If you need to thin the paint, most people just use 10% water by volume, which is three fluid ounces per quart. Let's go outside and paint a table. Now we're gonna show you how to spray the milk paint. We got a little pine table here that's our project, and today we're gonna to spray the lamp black, real popular color. And what I like about the gun is it's got the settings up on the front, and this determines how you spray your paint. The fan pattern is changed just by a click of the nozzle, and the fluid settings are in the back of the gun. I think it's a good idea if you've never sprayed before. Practice on a piece of paper or cardboard. Become familiar with your gun. I'll show you. Determine how much fluid you've got coming out of your gun and which way your fan pattern's going. Anytime the gun's pointed this way, you can see I'm spraying vertical or I can spray horizontal. Nice. A couple of key points we want to keep in mind here. When you're spraying, keep your gun at a 90 degree angle. That puts on nice, even, uniform coat of finish. Overlap about 25%. All you want to do is make sure you're covering all the dry spots. And work in manageable sections. Today we're going to start with the top and we'll work our way around. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to paint the table here. I'm going to use a respirator. It's a good idea. All right, just take a look and see how even and uniform that put that paint on top of the table. If you get a run or any kind of a air or drip or any kind of mud, just take the brush and just lightly come back and brush out the paint. This is going to dry in one to two hours, and when we're done, we'll take a look at the table and uh, see how we did. Allow your project to dry for one to two hours, and then sand the top coat down smooth with a 220 sanding pad. Repeat this process two or three more coats until you're satisfied with the finish. The milk paint dries to a low luster sheen and is durable enough to stand up to medium wear. However, if more protection is required, apply one to two coats of high performance water-based top coat for interior use, or exterior 450 for use in outside applications. The cure time is dependent upon temperature and humidity. At 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 70% relative humidity, three to four coats of milk paint will cure in about 14 to 21 days.